Ahead of GPT-4 release, which we might see around December to Feb, OpenAI recently issued an update for one of its GPT-3 models, Text DaVinci 003. Now, new updates are always exciting, right? But sometimes they can slow your system, take more processing power, and so much more. That's exactly what is happening with GPT-3 new update. This new model can perform tasks with higher quality, longer output, and better instruction following. It can even generate rhyming songs, limericks, and poetry much, much better compared to the previous models. But there's a twist. It's slower. That's why I hate updating my phone too. And this model is more compute heavy and expensive when compared to TextQuery 001, TextBabbage 001, and TextData 001. The new capabilities of DaVinci require more computing resources, leading to higher cost per API call and lesser speed than other models. For example, Query performs many of the same tasks as DaVinci but faster and at one-tenth the cost. That's good, right? But the new update is not all that bad. DaVinci can perform tasks similar to other models with lesser instructions. For applications that require a lot of understanding of the content, such as summarization for a specific audience and creative content generation, DaVinci produces the best results. When it comes to understanding the text's intent, DaVinci doesn't have competition. It can solve many logical problems and explain the motives of the characters. Here's a logical problem. For example, let's say you want to write a novel using GPT-3. DaVinci helps you in developing comprehensive details with little information about the characters. The team has also solved some of the most challenging AI problems involving cause and effect with DaVinci. Like GPT-3, it is able to correlate two independent events and establish a correlation and causation between them. Now, since you stayed till the end, there is one jugard for you. While using GPT-3, uh, you can use initially DaVinci to perform diverse tasks and later switch to other models like Curie, Babbage and Ada based on the specific requirements that you have to cut down on the cost. Thank me later. So GPT-3 was launched in 2020 as one of the largest language models made up of 175 billion parameters and we can't wait for what GPT-4 will hold. Till then, here's a video explaining GPT-3 in layman terms. Oof. Inayak, this is not your Da Vinci. <laughs>